time t seconds where t is greater than or equal to zero, a particle p moves in the xy plane in such a way that its velocity, v meters per second, is given by v equals t to the power of minus a half i minus 4tj. When t is equal to 1, p is at the point a, and when t equals 4, p is at the point b. Find the exact distance ab. So we know that we need to find a distance, that's stated quite clearly in the question, uh, and we have been given a velocity. And now the way to get from velocity to distance, or rather displacement, um, is through integration, because we know, as a general rule, that velocity is equal to the differential of displacement, and therefore displacement is equal to the integral of velocity. Um, and since you want to find displacement so we can then find distance, we need to use this rule. So if displacement is equal to the integral of velocity, and we know that in this case, velocity is t to the power of minus a half i minus 4tj by dt, then we can solve this. So first of all, if we start off with t to the power of minus a half i, when we integrate, we add 1 to the power. So add 1 to minus a half gives us a half. And then we divide the number in front of the t by this, so which is just 1. So 1 divided by a half is 2. So we put this now as the coefficient of t and keep the power as the previous 1 plus 1. Uh, and then we just add the i. Um, the i's and the j's don't change. Uh, when we integrate and differentiate um, vectors. So now if we do the same thing with minus 4tj, we add 1 to the power, we have t squared, and divide minus 4 by 2, we get minus 2t squared j. And then because this is indefinite integration, we need to add a c, which is a vector uh, in this case, um, so it has an i component and a j component, we just don't know what it is. So now we're also told in the question that when t is equal to 1, p is at a, and when t is equal to 4, p is at b. So if we want to find the displacement at a, we just need to substitute in t equals 1. So if we do this, 2 times 1 to the power of a half i minus 2 times 1 squared j, and then plus c, which we still don't know what it is, we find that uh, an expression for the displacement at a is 2i minus 2j plus c. Uh, and now if we do the exact same thing for b, uh, we know that at b, t is equal to 4. So if we substitute in t equals 4, we have 2 multiplied by 4 to the power of a half i minus 2 multiplied by 4 squared j, again plus c. Uh, and this is equal to 4i minus 32j plus c again. So now that we have an expression for the displacement at a and b, we can try and find the distance ab. Uh, and the way we do that is if we visualize these two uh, displacements as points, so in the xy plane, uh, as we're told right up here, if we drew a, uh, as coordinates, we know that if this was the origin, so this is when i and j are both zero, we know that a is 2i, which is 2 in this positive i direction, minus 2j, which is downwards. So a is around here, and b is 4i, so it's further along, and minus 32j, so it's much further down. Um, so this really isn't in perspective, but if we say that B is here, then we know that if the coordinates of A here uh, are being drawn as 2 minus 2 relative to this origin, uh, and in, for B they're drawn as 4 minus 32, then we can find this distance AB using Pythagoras because we can make a right angle triangle here between these two points. Uh, and the reason we don't need to include c, um, because we do have a c in both of these, is that to find the difference between 
this two points, so finding this distance and finding this distance, um, we will have the two c's cancelling out because we'll have c take away c. Um, so we can kind of almost ignore the c um, because they end up cancelling out. So if we now go to find this distance here uh, and this one here, so we can do Pythagoras, just take the difference of the x coordinates in this case, where the x coordinates are 2 for a and 4 for b. So if this distance here is two, 4 take away 2, we know that this, this distance here is just 2. Uh, and if we use the exact same principle for this distance, we know that the y coordinate here is minus 2, uh, and here it's minus 32. So if we do minus 32 take away minus 2, which is minus 32 plus 2, we get that this is minus 30, but as it's a distance, we can just say that it's it's 30. So now that we know the distance um, of this horizontal and vertical lines, we can use Pythagoras' theorem to find AB. So we know that AB is equal to the square root of 2 squared plus 30 squared. And so we solve this, we find that this is equal to the square root of 904. And then if we just simplify that, um, this can also be written as 2 root 226. Uh, and this is metres, because this is a distance. Uh, and if we also remember that the question is asking us for the exact distance. So exact means leave it in this third form, don't give it as a decimal to three significant figures or something, because that isn't exact. Uh, and so you wouldn't um, get the mark for this. So this question is worth six marks. Um, and our first mark comes from integrating the velocity uh, with respect to, to time. Uh, so this gets us a method mark. Uh, and then we get a further answer mark for doing it correctly and finding that the displacement is 2t to the power of a half i minus 2t squared j plus c. We get another method mark for substituting t equals 4 and t equals 1, respectively. So for, do, for doing this and for doing this gets us one mark for both of them. So if we just put it uh, as here. Uh, and then this gets another answer mark for doing it correctly. So finding these two formulas gets us another one mark uh, as an answer mark. Uh, and now we get another method mark for then using Pythagoras' theorem to find the distance AB. So doing this calculation gets us a method mark. Uh, and then lastly, we get an answer mark for finding that the distance AB is equal to 2 root 226 metres.